Hey everyone, so in this next speed building exercise, we're not going to be focusing on the hands anymore. I'm going to teach you something that, this is probably the thing I get emailed about the most uh, out of everything, and that is bass drum technique. You know, how do I get faster on the pedals? How do I do quick doubles? How do I do fast singles? How do I do all this stuff? And so we're just going to kind of focus on one aspect, and this is something I actually teach in a DVD. I go into a little bit more detail than I'm going to go into here. Here I'm just going to show you what the technique is, and we'll talk about a few applications and, and where it's useful. Uh, on the DVD, I go into a little bit more detail, and I talk about way more applications and applying it over double pedal and also the hi-hat pedal. Today we're just going to go with one pedal, and we'll just talk about that. And then you can take it to your kit and give it a whirl. It usually only takes around you know four, five minutes to get that simple technique. It's not that hard to do once you actually understand where to start from. Um, starting in the right place is pretty much the key. And uh, there's been people who, who email me and say, oh, I can't get it, I can't get it. And I say, well, you know, just do this. And then they email back and say, that helped. Now I got it. So, and then they can start applying it. So I'll pull out the camera and we'll just do a foot shot. And so you don't have to see my ugly mug anymore. All right. Okay, now that I got the camera pulled out, I can show you what this technique is. For those of you who don't know, it's uh, a technique that was, you know, been around for years that was developed in order to do a quick double on the bass drum. Basically, you're getting two for one. So you're dropping your, your leg once, and you're getting two strokes out of the bass drum. So let me show you exactly what it is. And a little slower. Now you can notice I'm doing this in socks and I'm wearing jeans here so you might not be able to see exactly what's happening but I'll try and pull them back for when you can't. But this technique can be done in shoes, it can be done in size 13 feet, 16 feet, size 8 feet, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, if eventually when you see exactly what's going on, you'll be able to you'll understand exactly you know why it is that you don't need to have a certain size feet or you need to you don't need to be using a certain kind of pedal or you don't need to be wearing certain footwear. It really doesn't matter. You can do it on socks, shoes, bare feet, whatever. You, I, I play it in sandals all the time. In sandals, that's even weirder because the, the flip-flops, a lot of people call them different stuff. But um, yeah, so basically, the way I teach it is to put your toe on the top of the pedal, right around there. And this is our starting position, OK? Your starting position isn't down here. The technique will start up here. Okay, and then basically all I do is I drop my foot. Now this this part is still a little bit off the pedal. You can see that. I drop that. I hit it once, and then my heel comes back up, and it hits it again. And now I'm back in the starting position. So let's try it one more time. You drop, hit once, and it hits again. Let's try it again. So it drops, hit once, and then come on the way up, it hits again. Now I'm doing it so slow you can't actually hear the strokes, but you know it's a technique that's meant for speed, so you're supposed to play it when you need to play something fast. If you need to do a slow double, well, you probably won't need it. You can just go, you know, anything, anything uh, faster than that, and I'd probably start doing that. But Now, what this technique isn't, as I see a lot of people teaching it, actually heel and toe. So they'll say, uh, uh, you know, you first hit with the heel, like this, and then the toe. Now, I have size 12 feet, so there's no way that, you know, that's one, one way where it's, this technique isn't going to work. So if you want to play this heel toe, or whatever it is, I never play it, if you want to play that, you need to get yourself a set of axis longboards or cut half your foot off and then, you know, 
then you'll have smaller feet so you can do it. But I don't recommend cutting your foot off, and I don't recommend necessarily buying brand new pedals because you don't need new pedals. You don't need anything else to do this technique other than the pedals you have, the shoes you have, the socks you have, and however you play. So let me show it to you one more time. Start high, come down, hit, and then hits twice. So this is where I actually kind of call it a toe-toe because yeah, my heel hits the back of the pedal right here, but it's not actually moving the pedal forward. What's moving the pedal forward is that rocking motion. Just the back and forward, back and forward. So if I move my foot down even farther, let me see if I can get so you can see. If I move my foot down here, now my, my, my foot is on my carpet here. It's my practice room here. So my foot's on my, my carpet. Let's see if I can do it. So I start high. There you go. Now I'm halfway off the pedal there, literally. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but my, my foot is hitting the carpet every time I go to do that stroke. Now it's more comfortable to do up here, which is why that's what I do. So start high. So just go to your kick. And put your foot on your pedal like this, and go like that. Keep your toes kind of tense. You know, don't don't loosen everything up too much. Just for starters, eventually it'll be so easy you won't necessarily think about doing it. You'll just do it. It'll just be you know become natural. Just like you hit the drum, this is the same sort of thing for me now. Is I don't really think. Okay, I'm going to do a heel toe, and now I did it. Okay, and now I don't think about it at the time. It's just something that happens. So yeah, take that to your kit and give it a whirl. Now I'm going to show you some applications. So let me pull the camera out and bring my snare drum and my high stand back in here.